Colonel William Guy. One of the greatest martial artists in the world travels the global tournament circuit, using it to conceal his top secret mission as leader of an elite group of international crime fighters known only by their code name, Street Fighter. The heroic man beast, Blanca, hard kicking fighting machine, Chun Li. most amazing warriors ever seen have joined forces with Guile to combat the criminal empire of Shadaloo and its superhuman leader, Bison. They have their own code of honor, discipline, justice, commitment, and together they will triumph against the forces of evil. Street Fighter! into your chief force already, Guile? I need only my martial arts skills. Hate! To defeat you! You want martial arts? I'll give you martial arts. You haven't got a street fighting chance, Sawada. That's Colonel Sawada to you, Guile. Or perhaps you've forgotten I took over your command at AN. I haven't forgotten you won't let me! Handling your own chi force so soon, Sawada. Unlike your sonic booms, full of sound and fury, I prefer the silent precision of a samurai sword, the weapon of my honored ancestors. I'll teach you respect for the rules. I write my own rules, which is why I'll win. As any street fighter learns the hard way, the only real rule is there are no rules. Sonic Boom! <laughs> so, have you had enough? Quitting isn't in my dictionary, if that's what you mean. This is supposed to be a training exercise. A chance to blow off steam and clear the air between you two. Not an opportunity to renew old hostilities. He's right. We are all on the same side here. Right, Kyle? Yeah, just not on the same team. What? It sounds like a wounded animal. Blanca! Blanca, what is it? What's wrong? Delphim! Curse him! Why is he torturing me this way? You sure it's him? Yes, I see him. I also see the satin hammer. Satin hammer? With Delphim? Must go to him! Must make him stop! Oh, pain! Hang on, Blanca. We'll get you to the Himalayas before sundown. The Himalayas? Yeah, Dalsim lives in a monastery somewhere there. What's it to you, Sawada? If something strange is happening in that sector of the globe, I'm coming along! It's none of your business. You're not invited! I'm making it my business! Official AN business! <laughs> Pulling rank against Sawada? Colonel Sawada! I'm coming too! You sure that's such a good idea, T-Hawk? Last time you got involved with a satin hammer, she almost got you shot for treason. I'm sure. She and I have some unfinished business. And yeah, well, just don't forget who got your AN commission restored. Your loyalty lies with us, right? Course laid in. ETA Himalayas. Seven hours. The pain. Esther seemed no pity. Hasn't it tormented me enough already? You and this star seem character go back a long way. Don't you? He's the one who mutated me, made me a 
a monster. According to an AN intelligence, he's a scientific genius who works for Bison. No! She's rejected our world and anything to do with science. You're absolutely certain of this? Yes! Now leave me alone! Can't you see I'm in pain? I should have crushed him when I had the chance before he could cause me more pain. Are we getting close, Blanca? Yes. Yes, the pain is easing. Does seem knows we're approaching. His temple must be over that crest. You're right. What's happened to it? The temple. It, it looks like a war zone. Dalsim! Where are you? Why are you torturing me? Blanca. I regret the crude manner in which you were summoned. Unfortunately, your psychic senses have been dulled by the world of materialism. I'm sorry you were not more receptive to the summons. Is that supposed to pass for an apology? Who'd want to attack a temple full of monks? Doesn't make sense. There's more to this than you think, Kyle. If what I suspect is true... Indeed, Colonel Sawada. How do you know my name? Your mind is not as difficult to read as many. What happened here? You shall see why I summoned you. A thermonuclear warhead! I knew it! I knew I'd find it here! This is why we were attacked. Why I sent for you street fighters to help defend it from the Saturn Hammer. Her men failed the first time, but they will be back. A warhead, Talsim. Where did you get it? I can answer that. It's stolen property. It belongs to an AN signatory nation that was scheduled to test it this month. You knew about that test all along, Sawan. And I bet you knew the bomb was missing too. That's why you came with us. I can't acknowledge that. It's classified. The government was going to detonate the bomb on sacred ground not far from here. My people were at risk. I was forced to act. So you admit the crime? It would be a crime if he stood by and did nothing. I know how it feels to lose it all. Your people. Your ancestral home. Dalsim. By the authority vested in me as ranking officer of the AN, in accordance with section 9246 of the AN Security Code, I am placing you under arrest for the theft of a nuclear weapon. What? Not now, Sawada. We can settle this later. There's nothing to settle. I'm taking custody of this baby as of now. That may be easier said than done, Colonel. We're about to have the world's worst custody fight. And Setnammer's lawyers are wearing exosuits. Move it! So, this is why Dalsim wanted us here to do his dirty work. His monks are no match for a full scale strike by the Setnammer. Street fighters. They won't stop us. We can't let Hammer get her hands on that warhead. Kyle, behind you! Now hear this, attack squadron leaders! Get that bomb! I don't care if you destroy them all! Just don't harm t -Hawk. Men can't rely on them to do anything, but they're so much fun to boss around. Well, if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. One chance. Zawada, send him my way! Head for the airship. You've just been hijacked. Uh, mind if I hit your ride, too? I gotta have a word with Hammer.
Bring back that warhead, boys. Face it, you're no match for a bunch of monks, let alone two seasoned street fighters. But I am. Hammer. Seahawk, after all we've been through together, call me Saturn. Hammer, listen to me. You've got to stop this madness. We were close once. You trusted me. Trusted my judgment. Until you turned against me. Still, under the right circumstances, I'd welcome you back with open arms. After all, I haven't forgotten how good we were together. Have you? Don't listen to her, T-Hawk. Remember who your real friends are. Quiet! We have things to work out. Only one thing, really. You have to prove yourself to me, T-Hawk. Prove that you're still loyal. By you dropping the bomb for me on Livermore Labs. That tears it, lady. I'm taking you out. Sonic! No! Ugh, what are you doing? We're up way too high. You know you really can't fly. But if I can glide, just enough to break our fall. Okay, mister. I want an explanation, and it better be good. You almost got us killed, and you've let Satinhammer escape with an atomic bomb. Her henchmen were behind her, Guile. About to fire. I didn't see any henchmen. It looked more like you were saving her than me, Hawk. Maybe you've still got a taste for Satin. You gotta think with your head, not your heart. No! They were going to shoot. Are you two going to argue all day, or are we going after that thermonuclear device? Seahawk, just catch her ship. We should have the Hammer's airship and radar range just about gotcha. Down there. Hold steady, T-Hawk. Can't keep her in my sights. I'm trying, but there's air turbulence. They're going down. I think you got them, guy. No, I never scored a direct hit, thanks to T-Hawk. <laughs> then, what happened? Could they have crashed? That would solve our problem once and for all. Without your technology, you are all blind. I sense her. She still lives. Her ship, it must have turned into a sub. Yeah, she figures to lose us underwater. Are you saying we've nowhere to track her? Saturn Hammer's one? This is all your fault! If you hadn't stolen the warhead in the first place! Correction, Colonel. If your people hadn't deployed it in the first place, innocent lives would not be menaced by your depraved science now. We don't need to track her, gentlemen. She told T-Hawk where she wants to drop the bomb. A place called Livermore. Livermore, California is home to a major nuclear weapons research facility. That must be her target. But even a submarine can't move through the water as fast as we can fly, so we can get a jump on her. The way I figure it, her course will force her near the surface at this shallow pass right here. If we can reach the island before her, we can cut her off, make sure that bomb never hits the States. If I'm right, Hammer's sub ought to be passing below us any minute now. Yes, I sense her presence. The time is now. Okay, Blanca, your job is to bring that sub to the surface. I'll give him a dose of my electrified personality. to stop the hammer here. Leave it to me. Not this time, T-Hawk. You're staying behind. What? You can't cut me out of this. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Maybe. No way. We both know Hammer's still got some kind of hold over you. Now set her down, T-Hawk, and stay with the plane while we... Land the plane yourself, Guile. I gotta deal with this my way! T-Hawk, so you finally got rid of Guile. I've considered your offer, Hammer. Oh, goody. Come here, T-Hawk. Let me give you a proper greeting. That is, if you've made the right choice. I want you, T-Hawk, on my side, to share my triumph. Prove yourself worthy of me. All you have to do is push the button. Make them pay for what they did to me! With a nuclear warhead? Oh, 
think of it as corporate downsizing. Couldn't happen to more deserving men than those liars at Livermore Labs. Look what they did to me, used me, left me like this. My brain was brilliant. My body was dying. They promised to fund my project, use my robotic theories to build me a new android body. But it was only a ploy. All they really wanted was my work, my secrets, not me. Once they had what they wanted, they cut my funding, left me like this. Still half human! I saw in your suffering, I saw in your own loss, Diok, the one man who could really understand me. Understand, yes. Condone, no. Despite all I've lost, I can't be so careless about the innocent lives you'll destroy. Doesn't my happiness mean anything to you? I feel sorry for you, for your soul. Put the laser down. Surrender the bomb to me. I surrender to no man. You wouldn't shoot me now, would you? Satin? A shot! Sounds like I'm just in time for a fight. Come on! You... you shot me! <laughs> You're a fool, T-Hawk. We could have had so much together. So much. <sighs> T-Hawk! Is he... No, he's okay. It's only a wound. I told him to stay behind. He wouldn't listen. My sentiments exactly. Even without T-Hawk, there's four of us and one of you, Hammer. The odds are against you. Uh-uh-uh. Wrong, Guile. Dead wrong. We had a shot. Do you need help? Now, you worthless fool! The satin hammer doesn't need you! Doesn't need any man! I've got my finger on the button. Uh, careful with that detonator! We could all die! Duh, moron! One more step and I'll blow us all to kingdom come. All of us? If I can't have my revenge, at least I'll have the satisfaction of taking you with me! No! Uh, my remote! Got it! And so have I! The bomb's tiny mechanism is activated. Nothing can stop it now! We've got less than two minutes until the device detonates! What are we going to do? There is nothing we can do. The cosmic fates have decreed. We are doomed. No, Delsim. Now, you are the one who is blind. If you could see beyond your stubborn anti-materialism, you'd realize scientific knowledge is the only thing that can save us now. He's right, Delsim. With your savvy, we might stand a chance of deactivating the bomb. Even if I wanted to help, the fission mechanism is inside the casing. There is no way to access it. Right! No, what's your excuse? I have done all I can to forget what I knew of science. Well, think fast. There's only 30 seconds left. Ah, now I remember. The opening to the fission chamber. I must be very delicate. Hurry, Talsim. He can't reach it! No, not if I were bound by your immutable laws of physics. Fortunately, I have advanced beyond such simple-minded perceptions and embraced the limitless enlightenment of metaphysics. It takes great concentration. And it comes at a cost. Phew. That was too close for comfort. Whatever the cost, it was worth it. I am glad you said that, Colonel Sawada, since my price is that you call off the nuclear testing. Satin Hammer. She's the one who really should pay. But she's gone. <sighs> I am not happy about what you did to me, Dalsim. I'll never forget that it was you who made me into a monster. But if I had not acquired my electrical abilities in the mutation process, we wouldn't have been able to stop Satin Hammer today. So maybe there's a greater purpose to my transformation than I can comprehend. And had I not used my knowledge of science, millions of innocents would have been destroyed. Perhaps we both have been too rigid and judgmental in our thinking. Mm. I must contemplate this further. Mm. As must I. Goodbye, Darcy. Sawada, looks like you'll be breaking the rules this time. Have you figured out what you're gonna tell your superiors back at the AN yet? I'll think of something. After all, I told Dalsim I'd hold the testing. And I am a man of my word. 
Welcome to humanity, you rule-breaking renegade, you. She shot me. I can't believe she shot me. Tried to blow you up with an A-bomb, too. So, you over her yet? <laughs>